Hi everyone, welcome back to our podcast. This is episode three of Starbucks Pod. Starbucks Pod. We where we do um relationship advice and stuff like that. Um. So anyway, we're just gonna start right off. The um. This is the host Colin. No and, gangers. Uh, I'm the co-host Abby, and um, we're home for the weekend from college. We're out of our normal um, habitat ha- yep. habitat mm-hmm. environment because we're usually filming in the dorm. So yeah. we have the co-hosts with us. This is yeah. Cash. Cash. That's Chanel. You yep. already know her. I don't mm-hmm. know if you can see. She's so small. Mm-hmm. And we have Brady up mm-hmm. here. Um, so they'll be joining us for this episode. So let's just get right into it. And then one thing I want to make a, a clarification. Sorry about last video. Um, didn't have, it was just, it wasn't a video. I mean, it was a video, but, um, yeah, what was we, it? It when was, you filmed, it was half cut off. Yeah, so it was half cut off. You so couldn't we had to, see it, so we just did an audio. Yeah, over, it was just audio. Over, whatever. So okay, so, so anyway, now we're gonna get started. Mm-hmm. Okay, so our first topic today is, I guess, how's school going for us? Um, yeah. do you want to start? Yeah, I'll go. Um, well, today, this is, was a good week, this week for me, school. Um, I want to talk about my project I have for research design of, of psychology. Um, it's going pretty good. I'm starting my outline. I'm the class doesn't seem hard. I guess for this week we just had to read over our notes and everything and just get ready for the quiz, which I got 13 out of 15. Not that bad. Could have done better. Or was it 18? 13. Out of they're probably 15. gonna be. Yeah, they're gonna be fine. fine. This guy just <laughs> talking, but um. Yeah, pretty solid day with all my little class, all my little three classes. Pretty swell. How about you? Um, for me, same. Um, I mean, I just did my in-person class. I have mm-hmm. high level Stop, of Italian Stop. class, Stop. and um, I've been really enjoying that lately. Oh, yeah. and um, other than that, I have like my major sociology, so. I have, like, women and gender studies, so, so statistics, and then I also have um, alcohol, drugs, and society class, and I really seem to like those so far. So, so far, so good. I mean, it's only the third week of content of the semester, but so far, I I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and for me, if you guys are wondering, Not my major psychology. Yeah, because I want you guys, she's sociology, I'm psychology, so psychology again. Um, yeah, so another thing to talk about school Third week living on campus. Hey, hey, stop. Stop, guys, stop. Embarrass yourself. Third week living on campus, right, I believe? Or fourth yeah, week? Third. It's, it's been amazing. What to bring on campus mm-hmm. when you live there. So, um... Yeah, yes, I don't want to. Sorry about that. Oh, we're a little distracted. Mm-hmm. But anyway, um, I would say, like, start off with the obvious, obviously, bedding. Mm-hmm. Um, most colleges come with like an automatic mattress protector. Mm-hmm. That's not your actual mattress. Yeah. Um, but I always recommend getting one anyway. It makes your bed softer because sometimes they're un- a little uncomfortable at first, and your back, you know, your body has to adjust to them. So my damn ass thought it came with a sheet cover. No, so, that's dirty. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah. Like so definitely get a comfortable <laughs> bed set. <laughs> Um, doesn't even have to be expensive. I got mine for Amazon for like 50 bucks. It came with everything. Pillows, all that. Anyway, um, so that's obvious. And then, I'm gonna make this really fat. Hey, you guys stop. <laughs> yeah, it's a little chaotic right now. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I can tell. A first aid kit. Um, obviously you need band-aids, neosporin, stuff like that. Definitely bring like Tylenol, ty- Advil, and Pepto-Bismol. Mm-hmm. You, you never know when you're gonna have stomach issues. Especially exactly. with dining food. Your stomach might not agree with you. Oh. <laughs> Stuff like that. Um, and obviously your hygiene project products, mm-hmm. you know, everything you'd use at home, bring. And obviously your clothes mm-hmm. and school supplies. That's obvious. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Look. Laptop. Two right? brush. Yep. Two brush, two paste. Make sure you brush your teeth every morning. Yeah, we got it. You know, this is like a disclaimer. Like, it's really important. Every morning. I said hygiene. At night. Too. Yeah, we just. Is be specific because people probably think deodorant. Like, birth control. Yeah, yeah, birth control, condoms and shit like condoms. that. They're probably you're interrupting the video. Stop! Hey, get off the bed. Stop. Kick them out. Um, what else? What else you guys talk about it. I, I oh. All that, all that stuff is pretty like self-explanatory, yeah. but you'll be surprised. And sometimes you're like, because the dorms are usually small, mm-hmm. you're gonna be like, do I need this? 
I'd rather overpack than underpack because exactly. you know, sometimes you don't have a car on campus. Sometimes it's really expensive if they have it for the convenience store uh-huh. or, you know, for the price is always so high. Mm-hmm. So always just rather be safe than sorry type of thing. Uh-huh. And um, other than that, yeah, I mean, your room's small, but once you make it comfy, it's, it's really, like, not that bad. Yeah, it's and not- there's usually tons of storage, and you'll make it work. Mm-hmm. But one thing I do recommend is, like, a little diffuser or something because it does get stuffy. Mm-hmm. Like, I have a humidifier in my room. I did notice a difference because, like, the first couple nights I felt, like, a little sick. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I Did you talk about food as well? Snacks. Tons of lists. Oh, yeah. Snacks. Snacks. Because um, even if you have a dining hall or dining plan, mm-hmm. like, either the hour sock or the options, or, like, say, you're hun- like, you know, study snacks. So, I did bring, like, a mini fridge. And- Hot sauce, too. Hot sauce. Oh, yeah. That, right. that makes everything better. But um, great. Great. other than that... Figure it out with your roommates, even if they're your friends or not, a cleaning schedule. Because, I mean, it shouldn't be up to one person all the time. I say, like, if you don't want to have a clean schedule, at least just clean up after yourself. Mm-hmm. If you left something in the bathroom, clean it up. Simple. Same, like, just, it's like house etiquette, you know? Yeah. But Which... we're not going to go, like, too far into that subject mm-hmm. because it is pretty self-explanatory. And, like I said, there's lists you can find everywhere. Your college will probably send you shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah. But... My biggest tip is don't think it's not, how can I explain this? <clears throat> it's normal to not feel uncomfortable at first. Because when I first moved to my dorm, I was like, damn, I must be living here. I really miss, like, home. You said, excuse, sorry to interrupt, you said on. not to feel uncomfortable. Do you mean to feel uncomfortable? Not, yeah, you can say it that way. Because I know what you mean, because it is weird, like. I mean, you have to associate that being your new house. Like, yeah. when we come back to our hometown, it just feels so weird. It feels like we're not at home. Yeah, well, I mean, it was just... I don't know. It's normal to feel uncomfortable. That's what I was saying. Like, it's normal to feel uncomfortable when you're in your dorm, new shit, um, TV and everything, like, posters, and like, damn, it's like the first day, you have a hard time to sleep and everything. It's totally normal. Once you get that first, after, I would say after the second week, you're going to get used to everything, you're going to be like... Damn, I love it here. Like, getting up the elevator yeah. and shit. Not even, no like, ways. a new environment. Because, mm-hmm. yes, that's always fun, but also stressful. But getting used to your new schedule. Like, every class is different. Every teacher is different, you know? Mm-hmm. So once you figure that out and get used to everything, um, it's really not that bad. Okay, but um, uh, let's go into our second So topic now that was more into college stuff. Now we're going to go into relationship stuff. Yeah. So we're going to talk about how to get over a breakup. Um. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, we've never had to experience anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, the time we already told him, but the time like back thought, on wood. Yeah, yeah I serious, thought I thought you were doing something with a guy. I got jealous. So even and then you clarified. Me. Yep. Mm-hmm. So you clarified and everything. Sit down. But this Listen was down. way in the past. Yeah, way in the past. Um, but um, I just want to say during that time, I kind of how to deal with a breakup. Come on, Brady. Come up. Let me explain it. How to deal with you a breakup, up really, just focus on yourself, always talk to talk to somebody, always have mm-hmm. that friend, with, like with me, like say I did do it, I always had that friend by my side to talk to him, like damn bro, I thought she was the one, and now like, I, 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 I don't know what to do next, so, but, and, and another thing is, well, some other advice, how to deal with a breakup, I know we never, well, yeah, with it, but I, I have to, my points, but I don't want to interrupt you. Um, I guess I can lay one more out there. Then <laughs> you, can t- you can talk about your advice. Um, what shall I lay? Okay, another okay breakup. After you're done with a break, how to deal with a breakup? Don't jump into another re- relationship because oh, they call it the rebound. Yeah, rebound because it's you, probably not real. You're probably just lonely. Yeah, or you're used just, to having that. Uh huh. So it's not really. I feel like you're not really back to your normal self. And you're not really you're not really in the type of situation to fall in love again, or to be with a partner because you're putting everything on them. So I just focus on yourself. Don't jump into unless you're the person that's really lovely, lovely person. Don't jump in a relationship. What I what I advise you to do is what's it called? One not a one night stand, but a thing. What people call it? A thing with somebody. So it's not serious a relationship or a, a hookup. Whatever they call it nowadays, who knows? But just do that. But don't try to force a relationship after a breakup. And one more tip. That was terrible. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
No, no, it's not. It's good advice. No, I'm not saying it's that, like a hookup, though. Yeah, but that's kind of for guy. Okay, for us guys, we have to release dopamine unless we're really, really, we were really, really in love. But like we get endorphins, the yeah, feel good. Yeah, so we get really, really horny. Depending on what guys is, because people be like after a breakup, they be like, the damn, best. damn, man. Like, who am I going to have sex with now? Blah, blah, blah. But some people don't only think about that. Yeah. And, yeah. So, it's like, but it's totally normal to have those type of feelings. And it's totally normal to not have those type of feelings. I want to clarify that. Mm -hmm. So, but I wanted to add in one more. But then, fuck. I forgot. These dogs are fighting. Um, I have points. Damn. If you want, you can add yours. Maybe it'll come back. Damn, um, for me, how to deal with the breakup is I, um... Well, I don't want to be biased because, I mean, I have, I just know that this helps a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Um, oh. Um, oh, my gosh. Sorry, I lost my turn. It's deleting stuff. It's hard. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's I was so thinking about hard, that. It's so hard, especially if you're in a long-term relationship. Cut. She's biting the mic. <laughs> a little ASMR moment. <laughs> um, like, it's hard to do that shit. All those memories are just down the drain. But trust me, going through those pictures, it doesn't matter if it's a week after, a day after, two years after, it's going to be hard. And it's going to... Can I interrupt? Go ahead. Keep going. Bye, my interrupt you. But basically, yeah, slowly delete those memories. It's hard because I know just because the pictures are gone doesn't mean it's gone up here or in your heart. And but still, um, try to delete some stuff. Give it a fresh start. Also, um, I would say... Can I interrupt you? We're on it. Perfect, perfect time to interrupt you. Sorry about that. But look... I feel like when you're deleting shit, that's kind of a thing you have to go through to get over that partner that broke up with you or you broke up with them. Because it's like, oh, man. It's yeah, it's hard, but it's like you're getting over that hump, bro. Like you're jumping over that hump. You're making yeah, you're that like three-point shot. And you're making it. That dis um, that, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. Like I don't need them, you know, type shit. Bro. Um, But it's, it's so awkward if you delete all your shit and then you get back together. See, yeah, you know. But anyway, uh, yeah. um, so besides delete your stuff, focus on, um, like he said, finding you. A lot of people in relationships change, and sometimes for the best, sometimes for the worst. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, a lot of people change, like... I want more tip, too. They but might do something for that person. Uh -huh. Oh, I uh, Like, for trouble. example, smoking. Uh -huh. so, sometimes, like, this is just an example. Sometimes the boyfriend smokes, the girlfriend doesn't. She might start smoking and drinking because her boyfriend's into that. Mm -hmm. So then you guys break up. Then you find your true self, and you say, damn, why was I doing that? Is it just for this guy, or this shit's nasty? Or maybe dating him actually turned you into a fiend like that. Mm -hmm. You know, that was just Everybody an example. Says. It could be like working out. Mm -hmm. or you're dating, you your gym partner, but when you break up, you have no interest. Shit like that. Uh -huh. um, basically, just find out what you really like, and find out your true self. Uh -huh. Are you this person because you're your partner, or is this who you really are? Mm -hmm. Um, and then my third tip, I mean, there's so many more, but I don't want to drag yeah. this video on. Mm -hmm. I would just say, um, so people handle breakups, hey, no. um, totally differently. It depends on the person mm -hmm. and the situation. Um, definitely have a support group like, of your friends, even your parents or counselor, mm -hmm. or some people totally need their space. They just want to be alone or figure things out. You know, just figure that out. Don't feel like you have to be around people. Don't feel like you're alone and you have to isolate yourself. Mm -hmm. You're never alone unless you want to be. Remember, there's always someone there. So definitely just listen to your mind and your body and um, I know. So, find your happiness and find who you are. That was good. Your that advice is better than mine. I ain't going to lie to you. Okay. Um, how to pick... Are you done with the... Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I, so now our next subject is I'm how good. to pick the right friends in a relationship. That kind of builds off of our last topic. Uh -huh, I've been yeah. talking a lot, so I'm going to let you handle okay, it. Okay, how to pick... Okay, what was it? How to pick... Friends in a relationship. How to pick friends in a relationship. So, you can go off the friends you had before the relationship. It really, really doesn't matter. Well, but I what I... Something. Yeah, what I really suggest is let be let them... If they're honest with your partner or who they really are, because they, they can look out for my... Uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, not a higher scope, but a, a okay. I'm gonna say they can look they can look away from a farther scope than you because with you you're in a relationship you're being biased towards that towards your partner so mm. they can see things you don't see if that makes sense or like blinded but, by love yeah blinded by love yeah that's a good one blinded by so be careful with that but with friends just just 
keep it casual. Um, tell them how you really feel about them, and don't let them bully you into breaking up with them because they dated too many girls or talked to this guy, that guy. It's about it's about bonding in a relationship, so it takes time to build a communication factor and everything. So building a right friend friend relationship, just make sure. They trust each other and trust that this is the partner who I love. And if they understand that, then that's a good friend. But they don't and be like, bro, just hit, just hit, hit that and then just leave. You gotta, no, you gotta cut that friend off. Cause or try talking to your girl or anything. It's just that's not. They don't fuck with you like that. I feel like you're fake. And one more advice: how to pick your right friends relationship. Um, this is for if you're say you're two years in a relationship and you need new friends. Just go out of your zone. Like if you're in college, try to join a group, or if like if you like working out, try to talk to more friends that have the same hobbies as you, or just on social media, or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But just try to pick someone not as close to, to 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 people that know you guys and people on her side or her, her side of her friend group or your side, because that's gonna create bias. The less bias is the best friend. Is the best. I'm going to say a word that, that's fucking, that's going to butcher my grammar. But the bestest friend, that will create the bestest friends in a relationship and people around you. I'm telling you. It's just, it's literally just the little things and the understanding of trusting each other. So. Yeah, I guess you. <laughs> Maybe you can add in one tip. That I was, can, yeah, because I don't want to, like, yeah. you said, basically. Mm-hmm. But I was just going to say, as far as friend, the right friends in a relationship, um... Don't do the ones that try like try to isolate you. Uh-huh. Like, damn, what about me and shit like that? Because there's really a hard yeah. line. Bet- uh-huh. Like, I'm not saying bitch your best friends because that's really toxic to only be with your partner all the time. Mm-hmm. Definitely, um, don't isolate yourself with that friend. Um, because I know friends can get jealous, especially if you're moving on to a partner and stuff. Come here, you know. Might hang out with them less and less, which is normal. Um, especially when you're in a new relationship. But basically. Stop. Don't be with the friends that hate on your relationship, like that are just jealous. Haters are unwelcome. Yeah, and um, I don't know. That's the thing that I was gonna say. Yeah. Make sure they have your back. Like if if your partner does something, make sure they're there to talk and listen. Cause that yeah. you Watch need out. that. Yeah, so leave the not, bias alone. Yeah. Like literally, don't. I don't know. That's if that's all I really have to say about that. Yeah. Because everyone's friends are different. You know, mm-hmm. you can't speak on everyone's situation. And then, Chanel. A mascot. Watch out! Watch out, guys! And then building, building, and this is for. This can be for. <laughs> Stop it, bro! We're gonna lose. A fucking twenty-four hour relationship, a month, three years, <laughs> ten, ten years. You're married. Don't matter. When it comes to building a foundation of a good couple, what I wanna, what made me so in love with her is just trustful. She's very trustful. She's where you go? Where you going? And I tell I tell her yeah, I'm going this place. Blah blah. blah. I want to say then, that. <laughs> so joking away. And then like I call her. Okay, always let each other know what's going on, even when the places you're at. Your um, your say you're at your mom mom's house. Let her know how that's going. Just build building a <laughs> foundation Damn, of trust. <laughs> and then also just keep it. I was about to say PG thirteen for some reason. Keep it real with each other. Don't lie. Don't lie where you're going. Sorry, Chihuahua. Yeah, I was be honest. honest. And another, another good foundation is what's one? What's a good one? Good foundation. I don't know. Just, as far as building goes, it's just simple. Build trust. Be honest. Uh, mm-hmm. It shouldn't have to be crazy stalker, but it's honestly also for safety too. Mm-hmm. Um, sorry to like cut you off, yeah. but. No, I'm trying to think of one like a building. Be fast. I don't. They don't like slow, slow thinkers. Is YouTube. But um, another way is just um, always have each other's back in like an argument. Talk of things out. Get both sides. Out, yeah. Because if you're just like you're always wrong. What about mm-hmm. there's other perspectives? Oh, oh, another one. Sorry, Chanel. Oh, sorry. Another one. This is a good one. TV fucking shows. Always watch good TV shows with each other. Right now we have power. We have Law and Order. We had Breaking Bad, but we, we finished fuck, that. Yeah, we're, we're Lions fans now. Lions, we watch football games. What else? What, movies, Mr. Nightmare. Always 
have a good TV show to watch together. I'm telling you, it builds trust. It builds just a good foundation of. And it's really good work. conversation. Yeah, good we always like to talk about shit after. Mm -hmm. Like a discussion in school. Like what? What you like? What you like about? Yeah, it's Because really discuss discussions fun. are always good in school, and that's how you communicate. Find a with hobby that you guys have in right. common. That'll mm -hmm. really the healthy relationship. Yep. I know they say Sinaka. opposites Sinaka. attract, Sinaka. but it's so much Sinaka. better when you have something fun to do or look forward exactly. to. Exactly. Okay, so um, I guess that's a wrap with that. But yeah. um, to finish off this video, we're gonna talk about going out of the country for the first time together. Your boys going out of the country for the first time. Let's go. Okay. I, wait, so, can, can I explain where I've been though? Because like you know, I'm I'm black. Come so sorry. I know, I don't go out that much. You know, as <laughs> black people, we can't afford it. But um, <laughs> totally normal. But do what you can do. Um, but I. So for me, it's really exciting because I only been to Pennsylvania. <sighs> You've I've been, been to Pennsylvania? Through, yeah, I've been to Pennsylvania for a funeral. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for my, when? actually, my cousin's, I think he graduated or something. He had his when? own place. This was a long time. Oh, Cordell, about yeah. Pennsylvania, stop, guys. Pen stop. Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, Texas. Ohio, Kentucky. Yeah. Oh, Kentucky. That's in the States, yeah. though. For her, it doesn't, no, she's been anywhere. Not every, I've been to a lot too. of U.S. states. It'd be, I'd bore you if I named them. But I have family all over, so it's not like they were all for vacation. Okay. Damn, she's the boss. She's in control. Yeah. Um, um, but as far as out of the country, I mean, Canada technically counts. Yeah. Um, And I've also been in Mexico on a cruise. But, drum roll, please. Da -da -da. <laughs> we're going to go to Italy the end of May to June. Study abroad. For study, well, you, you beat me, but study abroad. Um, yeah, so that's our first time, like a big trip, and it's for school. Mm -hmm. So it's a really good price for what it includes. So mm -hmm. yeah, we're excited. Yeah. A little nervous for the flight, if I'm going to be honest with you, but 12 hours, I you just said? got my 12, yeah, the long one. Uh, oh, shit. Um, I just got my passport in because I knew I wanted to do some traveling mm -hmm. soon. Yeah, mine's well, on the way. I'm sure. Mine's on the way. I just ordered mine like a week ago, so. Let's go. <laughs> what? You the fuck? Capper. No, I'm not. What the fuck? Call me a cap, see? Call me a cap. Cap. You got the All cap right. on. Um, but I can't. I literally can't wait. Literally. And it takes time to get here, so. Yeah, for me, I literally have to take an Italian class because I took a Spanish yeah, class. I'm I guess my you have third to take. year of Italian. Yeah. So, so. he. They said you don't have to, but it is recommended you have okay. some well. knowledge on the language. So next semester, the winter semester, you're going to be taking an Italian class. Mm -hmm. So um, if anybody got any tips in the comments, TikTok is probably I told it might help them because I have experience. Yeah. And I love the professor. Could we post our podcast on TikTok? I was thinking about that. I don't know. Nobody's watching that, though. Yeah, most people don't like long-ass videos. That's but true. um, that's it for today's video. Um. Once again, I know I did most of the talking, but thank you guys for watching. And mm -hmm. I have a bonus disclaimer, too. Um, I'm about to add right now. You don't mind. I do want to say, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps people. Uh-huh. Made you guys laugh. Mm -hmm. And you learned something from this video, but he's going to add his disclaimer in. But other so, than that, say stop. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, wait. Okay, look. So, bonus disclaimer. Um... I ain't gonna lie to you, just just came to me. So when you're in a relationship, this life, um, you're in college, high school, fucking ten years old, five years old, first born. Um, always when you do things, always go with your gut, because I feel like when you do things and you listen to your gut and not fucking somebody else that doesn't know anything about you, or say like your girlfriend, she knows things about you, but your gut mm -hmm. just has a different feeling. Always go with your gut, no matter what. I can be for picking food, for where you're, sure, you're gonna sure. live, college. Just go with your decision. I'm telling. Yeah, I just want to regret that it in life. And life's yeah. too short for that. And so I just want to put out because I was driving, so I was like, uh, I was gonna go this way, and then let me tell you, let me tell you a quick story. So I seen a deer right on um uh, where where do I live at? Fucking, North Avenue. Yeah, North Avenue. I was dri driving down there. Okay, down North Avenue, and um. When I was I seen a deer, I was like, God damn. And I was going to take the back roads. I was like, if I go this way, nah, I just have a feeling the deer is going to come. I don't know. I, I just have that intuition. And I was I went the long way. So I did that. I don't know. Just go with your guy. That's my feeling. And it just, 
brings the best decisions of your life. I'm telling you, best decisions, best satisfactions that come towards you, um, perception wise. So that's and, all. But I think we're wrapping up this save, podcast, and it could so. save you in the long run because yep. if something sounds too good to be true, most likely is exactly, and that goes with anything. Mm-hmm. But anyway, sorry to keep you for so long. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm. Thanks for watching, guys. Um. You know, got the dogs here, got the mascot here. Right? Down over cash went. Um, hopefully you guys watch. I'm sorry they and kept interrupting. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Podcast up.